and that's why we couldn't see uh, some of the commands. Okay, it's like in the, I think it's like over here. Yeah. So this is the aftermath of what happened. So this is uh, the Birch Forest. I don't think I really showed off this cave much, but it doesn't really matter. There's not really much to show off. It was mostly just my uh, way of getting rid of uh, materials it was pretty much my trash bin without actually putting it in Raza Base and somehow burning the entire thing down. That's pretty much what this was. Uh, the village pretty much practically didn't survive. Except for I think this church and other things here might have survived. Oh, it didn't completely survive, but it survived enough. Uh, this was pretty much where my nether portal was. Uh, this was where I had my... Oh, I don't think I showed that off. Yeah, I had a secret base over here. I'll show it off. It's not, not that big. I just had it there just because... Uh, and here's where my birch forest was. Here's where my dark oak forest was. And then here's where the nether portal stood. Here's where the acacia forest was. Here's the jungle. Still relatively standing. And here's where my bee forest was. Oh, apparently uh, the server did not like that at all. It just spammed something very interesting. I don't really care. And here's where my new furnace area is. I had the floor as lava uh, above glass, or under glass, sorry. So though it would look really cool and it would be fully lit, I didn't have to worry about anything. Yeah, that's pretty much gone. And uh, he decided to blow this up as well, even though this wasn't my base. But still, he decided to blow it up, so it got blown up. Very cool. Uh, I think he also blew up that farm for whatever reason. It's not like it did anything. Yeah, look at it. It's like he didn't really care. And then this village was unharmed. <laughs> so yeah, so I lost pretty much everything from my original area. And this was all because I found netherite before him. So yeah. He pretty much bombed my main area pretty much. And he would have gotten a uh, Ryza base too if it wasn't for the fact that I actually quickly got rid of it out of this location really quick and started bolting it. As soon as he gave me like a pretty much like a 24 hour warning saying like hey I'm coming for you. I'm just like oh, okay. Got it out in that farm only has one piece of wheat still survived. Oh that's amazing. So that small hidden base that I have is over in here. I'll show that off real quick. Uh, let's just go over the inventory. It's like we need it at all. Uh, that small base is actually kind of comfortable. Is there an exit here? Did that Ender Dragon actually make an exit, or did he just lo like loop around? He looped and went around. That jerk. Okay. Uh, I have no idea where I am anyway. I'm lost. I'm lost, but it's fine. I'll be able to find my way out. It's probably just straight here. Yeah, because we're in the swamp, and I know that that mountain area is close to the swamp. And even if I didn't know where that actual exit was, I have these to pretty much show me where that one exit is. So that's all good. I think this is no, this isn't close to it at all. Never mind. As you say, this is pretty close to it. But uh, oh, I also have a uh, the thing that's AFK that gives you stuff. Uh, I also have one here, and this is where the collection chest is. Uh, that also got blown up, but that's fine. Yeah, I think he also blew up Jungle Island. But it's fine. So that secret base is... Well, not, it's not really a secret. It's more so just like a cool little hidden base the mountainside so here it is it's pretty cool it's pretty comfortable looking i don't know i had a lot of fun and if you have my uh, behemoth potion you can literally jump that it's really cool there's supposed to be a stone block there interesting so yeah so here we go 
So this has, I think, nothing in it. Yeah, it's got pretty much nothing in it. Oh, right, 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 right. So back during 1.13, I was testing a few things uh, with the 32K stuff. Uh, this sword is pretty much why I, I never actually used it. So this is pretty cool. So this is just pretty much like a smoky chimney kind of thing. And then this is just doing the same exact thing with a campfire and then furnaces that are, should be empty. Yeah. So what's supposed to happen is that whenever you use a looting, looting, looting 32K, your, your world's supposed to pretty much crash. But for some reason, it doesn't crash anymore. So it's really weird that it doesn't crash anymore. Because when I used a Fortune 32,000 on, I think it was a diamond or something like that, uh, the game crashed. You shouldn't be able to leave the thing, so I don't know why you were able to leave the water, but whatever. It's fine. And uh, for some reason now with 1.15 or 16, I think, I don't know. I don't know which version I tested it. I didn't do it. But somehow it doesn't do it anymore. So that's amazing. So hooray. So let's go back home. Uh, we should be fine. Wow, that's pretty loud. Whatever whoever's doing that. Oh, I think it's a truck. That's going to be pretty loud. I'm going to go close my window. I'm going to be right back. Never mind, somebody was on their skid steer, and that's why it was so loud. Oh, that's right, it runs on diesel. Never mind, that's why it's uh, pretty loud. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much everything. Uh, next session, I will definitely show off my 1.13 area, and, or technically the 1.13 server. Uh, as far as I know of, nobody actually pretty much built in 1.13. Uh, and even so, most of the buildings that were in 1.13 got poured over. I know somebody made a town, but I don't know the coordinates for it. And it's actually a very beautiful town, and I forgot to take the coordinates for it. And I'm trying to remember about what happened in 1.14. I think everybody mostly stayed towards a NPC village. I know I did, and I think everybody else sort of did, up until 1.15, and everybody pretty much was, like, trying to establish a base, pretty much. And this was before, I think, the wiki got mostly updated with all the new quirks about how beehives worked, and stuff like that, and we were all sort of gearing up our bases to sort of fit the role of what we wanted our beehives to sort of, like, be pun unintended but yeah so pretty much like i was trying to get a raza base i think to be prepped and actually be built uh i'll show off the origin of raza base as well i think during those kinds of times because i think that uh to show off exactly why raza base was first created will sort of show off exactly why i really love that build a lot it doesn't look exactly pleasing, but don't get me wrong, for me, it's it's fine. It fits exactly what I want it to be, and I think that that's exactly what I think every Minecraft creation should be, is that if it fits the creator's purposes, it's fine. I think originally it, w it had a weird sort of funky, like, uh, base design, and then I changed it to fit more like a, more like a sea boat kind of thing, even though it's supposed to be like a spaceship, but it's supposed to be that it can go on water kind of thing or even in underwater, if you really want it to be. And I think that that's where my new change for it that looks more like a, a V-shaped bottom kind of thing works out very well for it. And we got a lot of coal, pretty cool. Uh, let's go see how my iron and coal are, or iron and gold are doing. Very cool. Oh, we got some stuff in there, it's not too bad. Let's go grab the gold and 
iron. Let's go craft them into blocks, pretty much. I'm also trying to make sure that I don't leave a large footprint in areas because I think I left a large footprint in my 1.15 area because I was so far away. I was literally like thousands upon thousands of blocks away from spawn, so I knew that nobody would be able to attack me. I think I learned that from my 1.14 uh, area where I stayed relatively close to spawn, but I was still pretty decently far away, and I got attacked three times. Or I got raided three times. My entire area got picked clean, so I decided to just always try and stay a little bit far away from spawn because that was my protection was that I'm way too far away there's no reason why you should attack me or why you would end up posting a bunch of resources to actually end up trying to get towards where I am and I think that's where I sort of fall towards that one kind of percent area where I'm like I should be fine I shouldn't be attacked at all nobody's gonna ever dare attack me and I think I was sort of just uh, being too, I don't know what it is, uh, being too sort of uh, cocky about it. And I think that that's where I sort of fell down towards the 1.15 area, got blown up. But I sort of retaliated and I ended up stealing the guy's pig, so it's fine. And apparently the pig despawned even though it was named. I thought when a, uh, when an, when a, th when a, uh, when a mob is named, it doesn't despawn, but apparently that's not true. Because I don't think I ever actually used my button to kill anything. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to change. I forgot to make sure that it doesn't kill uh, cows and sheep and stuff like that. And all that stuff. I needed to do that as well. Man, I'm going to do that after <laughs> after this session. Like I think I said I would do last session, but that's fine. I'm going to do this one. Also, uh, this area was actually the original area for my, uh, yeah, you'll see that I did the same exact thing as before. Uh, that area specifically over there has the same sort of thing as the other area. I think you can see it somewhere. No, I covered it up, that's right, because that's when I was having all my problems. I think it was right here, I think, specifically was that uh, this was the original area for my uh, uh, my one uh, sort of thing that I have over there. Uh, I put it down there and it was giving me a bunch of area where a bunch of errors where it was like uh, too much data in here and I'm just like, well, what are you talking about? And I think it's because that it's loading this as well as that and it's trying to say, whoa, 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 too much data. So I decided to change that. Uh, I think that's about it for today. I think tomorrow, as I said, we'll go search up a little bit more of the history of Serica Craft. I think that'll be kind of fun. Uh, we did a we did a decent chunk of stuff today. Uh, I'll be able to definitely try and see if I can end up getting that. Uh, Was it gilded blackstone? I'll see if I can get a decent price on that. Uh, it's in here, right? No. Where did I stash it? Did I stash it in here? I stashed in one of these barrels. No, I stashed it in here. Yeah. So I'll be able to try and get a decent stack of this. Uh, I'm going to go check the wiki for a second. I know, unprofessional, but I just want to take a look at it for a quick second. Because I'm kind of curious why we got a... Uh... Oh, I spelled gilded wrong, but that's fine. It already detected it. Okay. Gilly Blackstone generates as part of Piston. Yeah, it can be found beneath Bastion chests. Well, that's not where we found it, but whatever. Uh, Gilded Blackstone requires a pickaxe to be mined, in which case it drops itself or gold nuggets. So we got really lucky where it didn't do it. When mined without a pickaxe, it drops nothing. Okay, so if you use a uh, Silk Touch pickaxe, it'll always drop itself. I figured that too. But that Iron Pickaxe, we got really lucky with it where I don't think it ever dropped Gold Nuggets. I could be wrong. 
but I think uh, it's actually true. Okay, so this is also pretty interesting. So if you were to change it, so though your pickaxe has fortune, it'll change the uh, the increased chance for gold nuggets to drop. So if you have fortune one, it's about 14.3% chance. Fortune two, one in four. Fortune three, it'll always have a gold nugget chance. Did that gold pickaxe actually have anything? I don't think it did. So I guess we must have just gotten extremely unlucky for it. Either that or it literally just says that. Uh... Oh, so that's another thing. So piglins will become hostile towards players that break it. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Cool. I don't think it says anything about it either. Okay, that that's uh, that's not true. There's no way that's true. Gilded Blackstone is rarer than ancient debris. That doesn't make any sense to me. Finding textures of that in Nether Gold Ore in Java Edition. Cool. It's on ore as it cannot be smelted. Gilded Blackstone is the only non-ore material that can drop an ore mineral gold nuggets. Cool. So yeah, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Next time, we'll have the 1.13 slash the 1.14 world. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, then I think we'll do a little bit of extra stuff around the world. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll actually do some of my uh, host things to do pretty much while we're on uh, recording so I can actually see how well it... Uh, if people want to see more of that, I can I can definitely do more of that because I definitely want to do some testing with this off or I want these to shoot off like a laser kind of thing. I think that would be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so see you guys next time.